24 coverage tonight. Democratic Representative Malcolm Kenyatta is running for Auditor General. Lawmaker says and he sat down with News 8's Jeremy Jenkins for a wide-ranging one-on-one interview about his decision to run. This is a moment where we need new leadership, with fresh vision. That is Philly Representative Malcolm Kenyatta announcing his bid for Auditor General. Hours before he joined me one on one in our Harrisburg newsroom to explain his decision to run. So tell us about your going for the Auditor General position. It's quite different from what you do as a lawmaker. So what makes you interested in going after this? We need somebody in the Auditor General's office who is going to be dogged, who's going to go after um, these tough questions and get answers and get solutions for people. Kenyatta previously ran and lost a bid for U.S. Senate in 2022 against then Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. He's now focused on winning and fixing what he says is a flawed office led by current Auditor General Tim DeFore. He dismantled one of the largest bureaus in the auditor's department, again, because he said it's not his job. Um, I believe it is the job of the auditor and it was the job of all the auditors that came before him. Representative, there's a lot of people out there that may say you are not qualified to hold this position. What do you say to those individuals? I've served on the state government committee for the entire time I've been in Harrisburg, which has oversight over state agencies, which also is involved in our issues around our elections. I've also been on the Commerce Committee. I've been on the Finance Committee. And speaking of issues, Kenyatta is outspoken about a lot of them. And no, we're not going back to regular order. How do you plan on taking a quieter, less high profile position on a lot of those issues. I have never been afraid to speak up when I see working people get a raw deal, and I'm going to be able to certainly do that as Auditor General. If Kenyatta secures the nomination and wins, he could break another glass ceiling, becoming the first openly gay black man in the Auditor General role. I think if I've proven nothing else in Harrisburg, I'm not afraid. Um, I will speak the truth. I will speak it uh, unequivocally, and I will demand that we do better by the people who, frankly, give us the opportunity to do this incredible work every single day. Representative Kenyatta, thank you for joining thank you so us. Much. Thank you. And Kenyatta is the first to announce his candidacy for Auditor General. Tim DeFore has yet to publicly announce if he's run, running for re-election. News 8 has reached out to his office for comment.